Manuel Ugarte sends clear message to Eric Ten Hag ahead of potential Man United debut. Manchester United's deadline day signing from PSG is pushing for a start next Saturday as the Reds travel to Southampton. Manchester United's new signing, Manuel Ugarte, showed Eric Ten Hag exactly what he can offer his new team as he put in a masterclass in Uruguay's World Cup qualifier versus Paraguay. The former PSG man arrived at Old Trafford on deadline day after a prolonged saga that threatened to stretch United's patience. Eventually, United managed to shake hands on an initial fee of £42 million for the midfielder, but this figure could rise to £50.5 million, depending whether or not certain clauses are reached. Ugarty was in attendance last Sunday as he watched his new teammates put in a horror performance to lose 3-0 to Liverpool at Old Trafford. The 23-year-old's direct competition for a place in the starting lineup, Casemiro had a particularly difficult afternoon as he made two mistakes which led to two goals. He was substituted at halftime for youngster Toby Collier in a strong statement by Ten Hag. Ahead of the Premier League's return next weekend, all eyes are on the manager to decide whether or not to give Casemiro another chance or choose to trust Ugarte. Overnight, Ugarte did little to harm his chances of being picked at St. Mary's Stadium as he produced a brilliant performance in defensive midfield. While Casemiro lacked some spatial awareness in defeat to Liverpool last weekend, Ugarte looked in his element just in front of the back line as he helped deal with Paraguay's press. Ugarte was also doing his bit to prevent counter-attacks too, putting in some impressive last-ditch tackles to evade dangerous opportunities for the opposition. While the game ended goalless, the midfielder will be pleased with his contributions that lasted 79 minutes in total. This display will no doubt cause a headache for Ten Hag ahead of the clash with the Saints next Saturday. Manuel Ugarte has wasted no time in making his intentions clear to Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag as he edges closer to his potential debut for the club. The Uruguayan midfielder, signed from Paris Saint-Germain on transfer deadline day, has been vocal about his desire to make an immediate impact at Old Trafford. In his first few training sessions with the Red Devils, Ugarte displayed the tenacity and physicality that have become his trademarks. Known for his tough tackling and ability to break up play, he brings an added layer of security to United's midfield, a trait that Ten Hag has been keen to reinforce. With United enduring a rocky start to the season, Ugarte's arrival has come at a critical time and the player is eager to show what he can bring to the team. Ugarte's message to Ten Hag is simple, he's ready. Speaking to the media shortly after his arrival, Ugarte expressed his confidence in his ability to adapt quickly to the Premier League's intensity. I'm here to help the team, he said. I know what the manager expects from me and I'm ready to give everything on the pitch. Ten Hag has been careful in introducing new players into his setup, but Ugarte's fiery approach might force the Dutch manager to accelerate his plans. With crucial matches coming up, including fixtures against top Premier League opposition and European outings, Ugarte's skill set could be invaluable. His ability to control the tempo, intercept passes, and provide defensive cover would relieve pressure on players like Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro, allowing them more freedom to influence the game offensively. The anticipation surrounding Ugarte's debut is growing among United fans, who are hopeful that he can help solidify a midfield that has looked vulnerable at times this season. His previous performances for PSG and Sporting Lisbon have shown his ability to rise to the occasion in big matches, and United supporters will be eager to see if he can replicate that form in the red shirt. As Ten Hag looks for solutions to turn United's fortunes around, Manuel Ugarte stands ready, a player hungry to prove himself and to deliver the kind of performances that can transform Manchester United's midfield into a more formidable force. Manchester United's new signing, Manuel Ugarte, gave Eric Ten Hag a glimpse of the quality he can bring to Old Trafford with a standout performance in Uruguay's World Cup qualifier against Paraguay. In what many have described as a midfield masterclass, Ugarte dominated the center of the park, showcasing his ability to control the game, break up play, and distribute the ball with precision. 
From the opening whistle, Ugarte was everywhere. His tenacity in tackling, ability to anticipate danger and calmness on the ball were on full display as he orchestrated Uruguay's midfield with confidence and maturity. The 22-year-old's ball-winning ability was evident as he made several key interceptions. For the more, Harry Maguire to start with New England boss Lee Carsley to make four major changes. The Manchester United defender missed the Euros and is no longer first choice at Old Trafford, but England interim boss Lee Carsley is set to hang his hat on the centre-back in Dublin. Harry Maguire has received a huge vote of confidence from Lee Carsley. Manchester United defender Maguire did not make England's squad for the Euros as he battled to overcome injury. Maguire, 31, did not start United's last game with Liverpool either, but Carsley is ready to start the big centre half in their Nations League showdown with Republic of Ireland. England interim boss Carsley said, He's a leader. He leads by example in terms of his preparation on and off the pitch. Obviously, his quality is there to see as well when we do our sessions. So that's what I'm expecting to see. In the games that I've seen him play, I think he's got stronger as the games have gone on. Also, obviously, he didn't play in Manchester United's last game, but he's come into camp physically very, very good. And mentally, yeah, he's been good on and off the pitch, I felt. What I want we've already had in terms of the way he's been around the squad, what I expected. Maguire looks set to partner Mark Guahey at the heart of defense with questions over John Stone's fitness, while Trent Alexander-Arnold, after Gareth Southgate's failed midfield experiment at Euro 2024, is likely to get the nod in his club position at right back. Both Anthony Gordon and Jack Grealish also look set to be given their heads in Dublin, Gordon having been frustrated by his Euro's experience and Grealish having not gone at all. Gordon told ITV, I was disappointed because I believe in myself so much. I feel unstoppable, especially at that point of the season I had just had. I felt like no one could defend me, no one could deal with me over 90 minutes. I felt like I was ready to and really impress people and help the country win the trophy. To envision what I envisioned, to what it was, it was disappointing. Manchester United defender Lenny Yoro, who missed the Euros and has seen his position at Old Trafford become more uncertain, is reportedly set to become a key figure for interim England boss Lee Carsley. Despite his struggles at the club, Carsley appears ready to rely on the young centre-back in their upcoming match in Dublin. Yoro's absence from the Euros was a setback for both player and country, but his recovery from injury is now in full swing. With United's defensive line in flux due to injuries to key players like Luke Shaw and Terrell Malaysia, Euro's chances of reclaiming a first-team spot have been limited. However, Carsley's decision to bank on Euro reflects the faith in the player's potential and his ability to rise to the occasion. While Yoro may not be first choice at Old Trafford under Eric Ten Hag, his inclusion in the England squad signals that Carsley is willing to give the young defender the chance to prove himself on the international stage. This could be a crucial moment for Yoro, as a strong performance for England could reignite his club career and place him back in contention for a starting role at United. The match in Dublin will be a significant test for Euro as he aims to shake off the disappointment of missing the Euros and seize this new opportunity. It's a chance for him to showcase his defensive prowess and prove that, despite recent setbacks, he remains one of England's brightest defensive prospects. Manchester United defender Harry Maguire was notably absent from England's Euros squad as he struggled to overcome a nagging injury. At 31, Maguire has found himself battling not only physical setbacks, but also a dip in form that has seen him fall out of favor at Old Trafford under Eric Ten Hag. In United's recent clash with Liverpool, Maguire was left on the bench, a further indication of the manager's preference for a different defensive setup. Despite these challenges, England interim manager Lee Carsley seems ready to entrust Maguire with a crucial role in the upcoming Nations League showdown against the Republic of Ireland. With England's defense in need of leadership, Carsley's decision to start Maguire in such an important fixture is both a vote of confidence and a lifeline for the experienced defender. 
The Republic of Ireland match presents Maguire with a valuable opportunity to silence critics and re-establish his place in both club and country setups. Known for his aerial ability, composure under pressure, and strength in duels, Maguire's experience could be pivotal in a high-stakes game like this one. For Maguire, the pressure is immense, but so is the chance for redemption. A strong performance for England could force Ten Hag to reconsider his defensive options and reopen the door for Maguire to regain his starting place at Manchester United. After missing the Euros, 